Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Viggy of Meet of the Word Ministries, and I'm reflecting upon the terrible Newtown shooting at the Sandy Hook Elementary School, where 20 innocent first grade students were shot down and brutally killed, along with six other faculty members. And I put together this series to deal with the question, how does evil exist, and how can it rise up in the hearts of any human being to do something so terrible? And where is God, is, where is God in all of this, and how could God allow it? I believe people, especially Christians, need, and I believe Christians should be able to provide people with an explanation from a biblical standpoint, from their understanding of God, of why these things exist, and to answer all of these questions. You know, it's comforting to know that the ministers that have been interviewed up there, and the local pastors and ministers, that they have been telling the truth and telling, you know, everybody that those children are now with God, they're with Jesus in heaven. But we also have some biblical support of what takes place with them. And that's what I want to introduce to you here in this session and continue it to the next section. And that is the hope that we have even for those children that so tragically lost their life before they could even really live. And I want to reflect upon the story because we're so close to Christmas and how it's relative to today. Because added to the sorrow and tragedy of what took place is the fact that it took place just days before Christmas where those children were waking up every morning, anticipating opening Christmas presents on Christmas Day, and parents were out shopping, and many of them probably had already bought their presents to put under the tree to celebrate Christian with those children, to give those gifts. But in Matthew chapter 2, we have this portion of the Christmas story about wise men that came searching for the child. They were following the stars, and they came to King Herod of Israel, and they asked where he was, and he said, I don't know where he is, but when you find him, report to me so I can know. Of course, his heart was jealous and threatened, and he had evil intention. And so they went out about, and they finally followed the star and found the house where the baby child Jesus was living with his mother and father. And as they approached it, they came into the house, and they opened up their treasures, we're told. And they gave gifts to the child. And those gifts included gold and frankincense and myrrh. And of course, that gold and the treasures that were given to that child would sustain and support Joseph, Mary, and that child's travel to Egypt and their return back to Israel a few years later. And the Bible tells us that those wise men were then in a dream warned of God not to return back to Herod. And so they returned to their own country a different way. And the scripture continues to tell the story that when Herod realized that he was betrayed of these wise men, he sent his soldiers down to Bethlehem, and he slaughtered all of the children from two years old and under, all of the male young babies from two years old and under, uh, and, and under slaughtered them. And the scripture tells us uh, in verse 17 and 18, it says, Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel, weeping for her children, and would not be comforted because they are not, or because they had been killed by those soldiers. Now, in the next session, I want to continue exactly with what Jeremiah had said here, because up to that point, they didn't, they didn't quite understand the resurrecting power of the Lord Jesus Christ, and so that's all that they were inspired to write. The fact that the tragedy did exist, and God foreknew and forewarned that it would exist. But Jeremiah has something else to say about it that's very comforting, and I want you to tune into the next session in this to hear those words that Jeremiah had, had, had presented. Until the next session, God bless you.